Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Zhi Yun Crane 3-axis stabilizer camera gimbal. Note that this review covers the second version, or Crane V2, that was released in 2017. The gimbal comes in a plastic briefcase with dual locking tabs. Inside you'll find an instruction manual, the gimbal, a battery tube, micro USB charging cable, one pair of 26500 36 milliamp hour flat top batteries, a battery charger, two quarter inch mounting thumb screws, and a lens bracket. Every item has its place in the case and can be neatly stored away after each use. If you ordered the kit from Camotech on Amazon, you'll also have received this mini tripod, which is made of steel and rubber and is super useful for using the crane remotely and balancing it, which I'll show you in a sec. Before using the gimbal, first charge the batteries. While charging, the LEDs on the charger will be red, and when the batteries are full, the lights turn blue. Then load the batteries into the battery bay with the positive sides facing up. Thread the battery tube onto the base of the gimbal. Next, attach the lens bracket to the post on the front of the balancing platform. The unit itself is constructed of machined aluminum and very durable. It's got a 10 to 12 hour runtime on a full charge, so you can film all day. If you have a compatible camera, you can connect via a special USB cable and use the onboard shutter and zoom controls on the crane's handle. Now attach the camera facing the lens bracket to the foot plate with the other quarter inch thumb screw and position it as close to the tilt motor as you can. Adjust the lens bracket up until it's firmly against the lens of your camera. Before turning on the gimbal, we'll need to balance the platform. This will reduce motor stress and extend the life of your gimbal. I'm going to attach the gimbal now to the mini tripod. To open it, just press these lock buttons and fold down each leg. Then lock the ball joint by lowering the locking nut until it's tight. Screw the tripod into the quarter inch mounting hole on the bottom of the battery tube of the gimbal. Now we're going to balance the gimbal along its three axes. Since I'm shooting with the Sony Alpha 6300, I'm going to want to turn the camera on first, because when the camera is powered on, the lens actually extends, which changes the center of balance somewhat. You want to make sure that you're balancing the camera in the state that it's going to be in while shooting. That means you have to set up the zoom in advance and remove the lens cap as well. While the motors will adjust for small fluctuations in weight, getting the balance right up front is essential to ensuring your gimbal motors last for a long time. The first axis I'll balance is the tilt axis. Loosen the thumb screw on the first motor closest to the mounting plate and slide the arm up and down until the camera is facing directly up when you let go. Then tighten the screw. Next, I'll balance the level axis. Loosen the thumb screw on the bottom of the mounting plate and slide the camera forward and back until the camera is able to stay facing forward and parallel to the ground, then tighten the thumb screw. Now we're going to balance the roll axis, and you're going to loosen the thumb screw at the second motor and adjust the arm left and right until the camera doesn't tilt to either side. Finally, we'll do the pan axis. So hold the gimbal sideways and loosen the thumb screw right above the handle. Adjust forward and back until the camera doesn't tilt in any direction, and the gimbal remains in a straight line. You can check your final balance by positioning the camera at center balance, and when you let go, it should stay in that position without the gimbal being turned on. Now we're ready to power on the gimbal and do a few test shots. Just press and hold the power button until the LED light flashes. You'll see the camera lock into a stable position. There are three modes on this gimbal. The default mode on startup is pan follow mode. This mode keeps the camera level, while allowing you to pan left and right as you move and twist the handle for very smooth traveling shots. You can change the tilt in this mode by using the joystick in the handle. If you single press the mode button, it switches to locking mode. This mode locks the pan and tilt, so the camera is always facing forward. This mode is great for shots where you change the height of the camera, but don't want to accidentally pan side to side. If you do want to change the pan and tilt in this mode, you can use the joystick in the handle to do so. The third mode is following mode, and basically the camera will smoothly follow the direction that you move the handle, whether you twist from side to side, or tilt back or forward to point higher or lower. The joystick in this mode controls the roll axis if you want to change the level of the horizon. The 
mobile app for the gimbal also comes in handy if you want to control the gimbal remotely, for example if it's attached to a tripod. You will have access to all the modes and have control over the pan, tilt, and pitch in each mode. The gimbal can also be used inverted for close to the ground shots. Overall, the crane helps you create awesomely smooth and stable video. You do have to practice how you walk and move as you film, and there is some technique involved. The gimbal takes care of the rest. It's easy to use and can hold up to a 4 pound camera with lens. It weighs 2.5 pounds on its own, so be prepared to carry 3 to 6 pounds of weight depending on your equipment. The crane is an awesome tool if you're a videographer looking to take those cinematic shots. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.